So it's an interesting question, what is a network? Um, because uh, it's different things at different times. Uh, the usual way we ask managers what their network looks like uh, is with whom do you have uh, frequent and substantive work contact. Uh, but people are different than monkeys, for example, where their network is a constant troop that they're traveling with. Uh, for humans, um, our network is really everyone we've been close to ever, as long as they're not dead. Uh, and because our relationships will go into remission. Uh, and then when we have an interest or coincidence brings us together, uh, we uh, reanimate uh, the relationship. So uh, I see you at the airport. Uh, I haven't seen you for four years. Say, Josh, how are you doing? It's wonderful to see you, yeah? So the network then becomes this entity that people animate uh, that has predictable variations. Uh, it is everyone you've known, but for any one task you're working on, there's a core set that you're working with. Uh, and that's what we're after for managers. But on this project, it'll look like this. A year from now on another project can look like that. Fortunately, people have a style of building a network so that the extent to which you're comfortable with a set of people who all know each other and they're roughly similar people, uh, you're not likely to be next year comfortable with a very diverse set of uh, people who are strangers uh, to one another. And it's that style that becomes the predictive component uh, in the uh, network. Uh, the contrary view uh, is that uh, people think of their network as something like their IQ or something like their personality. It's a thing that's mine that's with me or like their education. Um, but much like those things, um, with your education you learn forever, uh, unless you die. Um, your um, IQ, in fact, comes and goes depending on how you're feeling. And uh, most particularly, when people are depressed, they tend to name a set of friends who know each other, it's a comfortable place to be. When they're feeling secure, feeling smart, feeling uh, assertive, then they'll name these people that they know from all these different parts of their life. So your network varies by time and place, but there's a style, much like an IQ or like a personality, that is the autocorrelation across all of these.